All righty. Thank you, as always, for your expert input. And, Tom, I hope that you can give some expert input on some sleeper picks this week. I'll let you go first this week. Remind us who – I totally forget. What did you take last week, and what's your current record on the season? You know, I missed last week, but it, should, um, it shouldn't count because it was DJ Moore over 57.5, and, and his quarterback got hurt. So I think that should be waived. Um, uh, you can't waive it. You know, you can't, unfortunately you can't call sleeper. I mean, we love those guys at sleeper and side note, by the way, we do have a promo code with them. It's fit. They'll give you a hundred dollar match. So sleeper.com slash promo slash fit hundred dollar match. Stuck that right in there, Tom, but you can't go to sleeper, unfortunately, and be like, Hey, sorry. Like I, I didn't really mean that bet to happen, but what's your rec? What are you three and three, three and three. And we're All about right. to go four and three because you just you talked a little bit earlier about your feelings about the Broncos as a team, and I'm going to reverberate that here. Russell Wilson will go for under 216 and a half passing yards this week. Is this our first under? It's our first under. Yes. Oh my goodness, the under! This How one, dare you? How just, dare you take an under? Doesn't it feel right though? It just feels right. Anything under with the Broncos sounds right. Fine, yeah. go on. So here, here's my my two bullet notes. The first one, he is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Stinks. Go, go, Don't go. get me wrong. I mean, he's had an incredible career, but yeah, at yeah, this yeah, point yeah. in his career, he's terrible. My second one is Green Bay's ninth best pass defense, averaging 194.4 yards all season, and the last three games, 182.7 yards. So Russell Wilson will not hit 216 and a half yards. Also, like like we talked about before, you have the Packers coming off a bye. So they had an extra week to prepare for the lowly and miserable and stinky Broncos. So I like to pick Tom. I'm going with another over because I think as, as far as the season goes, I don't think I could take an under. I just don't think I could do it. I slide to, so this is tragic. We need another sad violin playing. And I don't mean to complain all show, but my gosh, I, was, I started the year 3-0, and feeling great with my sleeper picks. Lost, lost, and last week, I was feeling it, man. TJ Hawkinson, over 50 and a half yards. He finished last week with six catches for 50 yards. No. <laughs> I lose by point five. That's how they get Womp, womp, womp. So I, I'm struggling a little bit. I'm looking to get uh, back to my winning ways, and I'm going to do that this week with my Chris Olave over 60.5 receiving yards. This is the Thursday night game against the Jags. I know he's had, not on our show today, which is good news. I know he's had that lingering, what, toe injury, Tom? A, t- a turf toe, yes, right? Toe injury, very mild. Okay, mild, which is good. So just some stuff about, about this game and why I like the Olave over 60 and a half. The Jags' best cornerback, uh, Tyson Campbell, is going to be out, so he's not playing. He has a hamstring injury. Olave himself coming off a strong game, went for seven catches last week for 10 uh, on 10 targets for 96 yards. I think the chemistry with Carr seems like it's getting back on track. Olave gets targeted a ton games this, e- uh, this season, 10, 11, 11, 6, 5. That was a dip, but last week back to 10. The Jags defense ranks 31st in passing yards allowed, but third in rushing yards allowed. I think the Saints will throw. Spreads 1.5. It could be a close competitive game. On top of all that, even if you throw all those statistics out, I just believe so much in Olave and the talent, and he's just way too good to be putting together a you know, mediocre you know, sophomore year campaign here. So I like Olave a lot. He is a second-year player, Tom, right, Tom? Am I, am I third yes. year? Second year? I question myself too much. All right, Chris Olave, I like him a lot. 